The introduction of the Tesla Semi back in 2017 has kicked off an avalanche of electric cars developed by other manufacturers, so it is time to revisit this topic on our channel. These workhorses of the future possess massive battery packs, can recharge at astonishing rates, and while having similar hauling capabilities, are much more agile on the roads than their diesel counterparts. Let's dive into their detailed technical specifications, release dates, and estimated prices. So, subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the latest car news and enjoy the ride! Einright T-Pod When it comes to development of e-trucks, Nordic companies seem to take the lead, already practically testing and implementing their products. One of such firms is the Einright that in May 2019 tested their self-driving T-Pod on Swedish public roads. The truck is rated for a max weight of 26 tons, can fit 15 euro pallets and has no cap for the driver. It can be driven by a fully autonomous intelligent operating system that utilizes a host of cameras, lighters and radars. However, the system also allows a human operator to take charge remotely. The T-Pod is powered by a 280 kWh battery that should have enough juice for 124 miles of driving. Though the truck is capable of traveling at 53 miles per hour, its first deliveries are carried out only at 3 mph, in accordance with the public road permit provided by the Swedish government. Nikola 2 and Tre It is easy to determine that Tesla's success with hyping up all electric semi trucks forced Nikola to reconsider utilizing exclusively hydrogen fuel cell technology, which was initially installed on the one model. The latest introductions in the lineup of the North American manufacturer are the Nikola 2 and the European spec version TRA. They will be offered with pure electric powertrains, equipped with 500, 750 and 1 MW battery packs, the latter one being able to do 400 miles on a charge while fully loaded. The detailed specifications for these workhorses are yet to be announced. Preliminary though, they should be close to the hydrogen models but the company still insists that the fuel cell technology is cheaper in operation and that EV models will be primarily targeted for the intrastate hauling. Tesla Semi Yes, some companies do offer rather interesting electric truck concepts, but let's be honest, the Tesla Semi is still the most promising and closest to mass production model. Revealed in the prototype form back in 2017, it has since been spotted multiple times on the highways going through testing, recently supposedly without a pilot. The Semi is a Class 8 cargo truck that on paper easily outperforms any diesel, being powered by four independent electric motors. The fully loaded 80,000-pound vehicle gets to 60 in just 20 seconds. Moreover, it can travel at the max speed of 60 miles per hour, up the 5% grade at max cross. The announced prices go up according to the range. Base model with 300 miles costs 150,000, while the 500 miles range 180 kran. This truck is guaranteed by the manufacturer not to break down within 1 million miles, and it should be 20% cheaper to operate than a diesel. Volvo FL and FE Electric Unlike many electric trucks that are still under development, the first FL and FE units have already been delivered to customers, and their series production for the European market is scheduled to begin by the end of 2019. The smaller 16-ton FL is developed primarily for carrying out municipal tasks and urban deliveries, while the 27-ton FE Electric should be up for heavy hauling work. The FL is powered by one 248-horsepower electric motor, and the FE gets two of the same. Both models can be fitted with two to six lithium-ion batteries, each with 50 kWh capacity, allowing for the maximum range of 186 miles for the FE and 124 miles for the FL. According to the Swedish brand, the trucks are compatible with 22 kW AC and 150 kW DC chargers, with battery replenishment time varying from 10 to 2 hours. Freightliner e Cascadia. Developed under Daimler's Freightliner sub-brand, this electric semi-truck is based on the platform of the company's popular Class 8 model, the Cascadia. Just as its diesel cousin, the e-Cascadia is a heavy-duty truck for local and regional cargo transportation and distribution. It has the peak power of 730 horses and the battery capacity of 550 kWh. The model can travel up to 250 miles on a single charge, 
and supports fast charging that replenishes 80% of the battery capacity in 90 minutes, allowing it to go for another 200 miles. It also permits a gross combined weight rating of 36 tons and has the max weight of 15 tons. The vehicle is currently undergoing performance and convenience testing and Daimler Trucks has already announced plans to convert its Portland plant for production of electric trucks, launching the manufacturing of eCascadia sometime in 2021. Our database of electric vehicles is constantly growing. So if you're interested in this topic and want to support the EV revolution, make sure to watch this video till the end and check out other suggested episodes. Let's keep going. Nikola 1 Let's call this truck the original electric semi, since it was presented to the world prior to Tesla's model and the likes. Unlike its competitors though, its power source is a 250 kWh battery recharged by hydrogen fuel cell PPU. The startup is convinced that true long hauling is only possible if range anxiety is out of the question, and with Nikola's 750 miles on a tank and 15 minutes refuel time, we are definitely there. The mighty electric powertrain has 6x2 or 6x4 drive system and produces 1000 horsepower and 2000 pound-feet of torque to achieve around 60,000 pounds towing capacity. Further advancements include the fully digital dashboard, spacious cabin and panoramic unobstructed view. The initial production target for the semi was scheduled for the 2020, but the delays in growing the H2 refueling stations and Nikola's constant revaluation of priorities has postponed it. Vera – Volvo Electric Autonomous Truck When Volvo first unveiled their futuristic-looking autonomous Vera truck in September 2018, reviewers unanimously agreed that we will not be seeing it put to use soon. However, in June 2019, the brand partnered with the Danish logistics company DFDS and announced plans to deploy Vera on a first assignment, transporting goods from the DFDS center to a port terminal in Gothenburg, Sweden. As a part of the trip, the truck will ride on a short predefined route, which partially goes through a public road. Since there will be no driver required at any point of the delivery, the vehicle has no cab at all and looks more like a sports car than a traditional semi. Its powertrain is rumored to come from Volvo's other electric tractors, consisting of a 250 horsepower electric motor and up to six batteries, with a max capacity of 300 kilowatt hour and range of 186 miles. XOS Trucks ET1 Envisioned as a capable competitor to Tesla Semi, the ET1 was revealed by the California based startup Thor Trucks in December 2017. The model gets several modifications. Its motor power varies from 300 to 700 horses, while the maximum range can be either 100 or 300 miles. The full charge time has been claimed to take 90 minutes. The truck should be able to hold the max allowed freight weight of 80,000 pounds, or over 36 tons, and to develop the top speed of 70 miles per hour, which is a solid value for a machine of its size. In April 2019, the company rebranded as XOS Trucks, and currently it continues to test and improve the Semi's prototype in cooperation with the USPS and the Los Angeles area. In addition, the XOS announced that a medium-duty electric truck is also in the works. Mercedes-Benz e-Actress Presented back in 2016, the e-Actress was the first in the world's urban delivery truck and it went into test operation in 2018. Currently, it is offered in two variants, 18 or 25 tons. The truck's driver system consists of two electric motors, located close to the rear axle wheel hubs. Each of them produces 170 horses and a maximum torque of 358 pound-feet. The special gear ratio turns this into 8,113 pound-feet on each wheel, matching the performance of conventional trucks. The model also boasts of 11.5 tons maximum axle load. Its 124-mile range is ensured by two lithium-ion batteries with 240 kWh capacity. Today Mercedes-Benz continues practical testing of the e-Actress in the real-world conditions recently transferring the 10th unit from the Innovation Fleet program to the food logistics company Natural Group in Hamburg. After all 10 trucks complete their 24 months testing, the company plans to start serious production of the model in 2021. FCET Kenworth T680 
co-developed by Toyota and Kenworth, this hydrogen-powered fuel cell electric truck, abbreviated FCET, is a logical continuation of the two hydrogen concepts, which Toyota unveiled in 2017 and 2018. The FCET is built on the basis of Kenworth T680 Class 8 with a Toyota hydrogen fuel cell powertrain. It is equipped with a 560 horsepower traction motor that generates 1,375 pound-feet of torque. The truck is expected to run for 300 miles on a tank. This is two times more than the average semi's daily drayage. The first 10 vehicles will be produced under the agreement with the Port of Los Angeles, and soon hydrogen-powered Kenworth units will start delivering cargo to warehouses in Southern California. The tractors will be charged at five hydrogen fueling stations, three of which are already available. How fast do you think electric cars will be able to replace diesel models in the industry of long-hauling transportation? My guess is that with the ever heavier tax penalties for high-emission vehicles, this change will be rather fast. What about your thoughts? Share them in the comment section. Consider watching suggested videos about electric vehicles. Like this episode, subscribe to Automotive Territory, and may the torque be with you!